Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is an easy number puzzle. In this we are given a pyramid of numbers and it is given that the number in each box must be the sum of the two numbers in the boxes directly below. Okay. So we are given some numbers in this pyramid. We will have to fill all these numbers and then answer these questions. So uh, we know that if we have two consecutive numbers, we can add them and get the third number. Okay. However, we do not have any two consecutive numbers in this grid. So if you look at the entire grid, we do not have any such numbers. So what we can do is we will see some close by numbers. Let's say four and six. So if we have a number, let us say a between them, we can get this number. We can get this number. But again, that will be only in variable terms. Like it will be a plus four and a plus six. But if you look at these values, if we add these two numbers, we will get this number and we will get this number and we can use that sum as this. So let us say this number is x. So this number will be x plus 23 and this will be x plus 29. When we add these two numbers, we get 2x plus 52 as 76. So 2x is 24 or x is equal to 12, right? So now we can fill these numbers and get the result. So 12, this will be 35 and 41. Now we have got these numbers. Now the other pair that we had of consecutive numbers, not consecutive but a gap of one number is this. So this will be a plus 4 and a plus 6 and they add to 12. So 2a plus 10 is equal to 12 or a is 1. Now we can use that. So we got 1 here. So 1 plus 4, 5 and 1 plus 6, 7. Now using these numbers, we can quickly fill the remaining grid. So 23 minus 5, it should be 18. 7, 29. So this will be 22. 22 and 34 will give us 56. 29 plus 56 is 85. 85 plus 41, 126. And these two added will give us 220. So these we have added. Now similarly, let us fill the numbers in the lower part of the pyramid. So it is 18 and 4. This should be 14. 6 and 22 should be 16. And 16, 34, it should be 18. Okay. Likewise, we will fill this 10, 18. This should be 8. 16 and 10, it should be 6. 6 and 6, 0 then it should be 1 because 1 will come with 1 and 0 and for 4 we will have 1 and 3 and 14, 11 and 3. Now this is 2, 2 plus 9 is 11, 2 plus 1 is 3, 1 plus 1 is, 1 plus 0 is 1, again we will have a 0 here, then it should be 6, then 6 and 10, 4 and this will be 4. Okay, so we have filled the complete grid. Now we can answer the questions easily. What number should be at the top of the pyramid? It is 202. How many boxes contain 0? So we have 1, 2 and 3 zeros in this pyramid. How many single digit numbers are present in the second row from the bottom? Single digit numbers here. So 1, 2, 3 and 4 and 5. So we have 5 such numbers. What number should replace the question mark? That is 4. How many odd numbers are present in the fifth row from the top? First, second, third, fourth, fifth. So we need to find the number of odd numbers. Okay. So we can clearly see that these are two odd numbers. Now this particular question could have been answered without even filling the pyramid. How? See, we have 23. 23 is an odd number. So odd number will form only when we add one even and odd number. Because if you add two odd numbers, you get an even number. If you get add two even numbers, again you get an even number. So that means one of them should be even, another should be odd. <coughs> Similarly, 29 will be one even, one odd 
and this is already even. So we will have two odd and three even numbers. So this could have been answered without even filling this pyramid. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.